What's up, X-Wing Maniacs? We are running the double jump, not the triple jump that everybody else runs, but we're going to do a really sweet battle report today with a double jump list, along with uh, everybody's favorite TLTY against some movie po action. So let's go over this list. Uh, it's pretty, pretty well redundant. I I'm sure everybody's already heard about it by now. But we've got, of course, the Scout with the standard build, the Plasma Torps with the extra munitions right on top there. we got the Chips. Feedback array, which is my personal favorite, and I think it's a, a hidden gem of, of tech in a three jump world, and then the aggro mech as well, along with the four long as a crew member, which gives you that extra ability to get in there and deliver that coup de gras plasma volley. And then over on this one here, it's the same exact thing, except for outlaw tech, which I think really comes in handy because you're always guaranteed that focus token if you do a red maneuver. And that way, you know, you can activate Deadeye, you can activate Target Lock, you can do all sorts of fun things there. And we're going to see some, uh, some pro-level uh, tips that I've uh, kind of picked up just reading through the rules and different things about how, how good Deadeye really is. And we'll get to that, I'm sure, in the middle of the game. And then, of course, a TLT thug, uh, Y-Wing, all uh, unhinged astromech app. Today we're going up against uh, Movie Poe and his uh, Action 5 news team here. We got, we got Tycho who drags around a uh, cloud of stress throughout the game, which I'm, I'm sure we'll, and we'll see here shortly. And then uh, Kraken here, which does all sorts of action shenanigans. So you got BB-8 doing your green maneuvers, getting to push the limit, getting your free actions, and flipping them around between Kraken and Tycho. Tycho don't give an F about stress. He does Tycho things. So this is a really dangerous list that uh, can, has a definite Alpha Strike, uh, you know, component to it. So I gotta be very careful that they don't uh, smoke one of my uh, scouts right off the bat with this one. But hopefully the rest of the list will pull through and uh, be able to take down these guys after they get through. So one of the most important parts of the game is turn zero, and I actually have the initiative, believe it or not, with this build, it's only 98 points. So I'm gonna grab the biggest asteroid right here, and I'm gonna throw it over here as far away from my jump masters as I can, which I think is good, yep, right there, and leave the rest in the middle uh, for my opponent, because I wanna get up here, I wanna get to the middle, and I wanna kinda dance around in the middle, or slow up and kinda work the, work the edges with these guys, um, and make him maneuver to me. So that's a good position for that asteroid there against me. Uh, I'm going to throw this one out. Now I'm going to start kind of boxing them in because I kind of know where I can run my stuff. And if I start putting them in positions where he can't put his or can't thwart me or thwart my maneuvers, then that really helps me out. So that's where I'm going right there. Go ahead. Place the next one. It's a good spot. Um, we'll do this right there. So that little one with the middle finger point out is the last one. Towards you, sir. All right. <laughs> so here's the appointment. It's a little diamond pattern kind of thing I kind of came up with to give me some really good angles for getting in there with those really good left hand turns and trying to do a S, uh, kind of a S loop up there, a Sanger loop, and then bust back out to kind of uh, react to my opponent. Now Steven's up here in this corner with his uh, Action 5 News team just basically trying to close the gap as quick as he can, I imagine, and uh, get everybody in range one of one of these ships. So I need to not let that happen and stand off at range two to three to basically get my torps on. So after the first turn, obviously not gonna engage. There's very little things to do, just doing a lot of maneuvering. Action 5 News Team kind of moved up there and I kind of uh, maybe surprised him a little bit with my, my tight turns there. So now I kind of got to watch the angles of him coming at me right now from that way and the asteroids. So there's a lot going on and you can see, you know, it makes Flying three of these guys much more difficult than flying just two of them at this point because you can uh, rapidly reposition and respond to your opponent's maneuvers as well. Going into turn two, we got some positioning here. Now I know this guy was going to be a little bit too close to his stuff going in there, but I wanted to see how much fire it could take and how far Steven was willing to engage with his front line there. And he didn't quite get in range one, so obviously pockets aren't going to be as much of a thing there. But 
Um, I'm not even sure if he took him, but, you know, that being said, he has Poe in the backfield there. So, eh, you know, might take a lot of damage right here. Might not. It's 50-50, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, we just got to launch some torpedoes and see what happens. Interesting side note, the uh, Poe here, you probably remember he was behind the line here, so you're probably like, yo, how to get back here and over back in the cut. Well, Poe, um, the really cool thing about Poe is he, if you take BB-8, you can actually reveal green maneuver you can activate bb8 by doing a barrel roll and off the barrel roll you can push the limit right and you still haven't performed your maneuver yet which you know is going to be green because you got bb8 so you can push the limit to like focus then it clears the stress from the, from the extra actions and so you can get an extra target lock out of it so it's a, it's a really neat and interesting little combo that uh, a lot of people forget about but it's uh, it's one of those things that you know some of the folks at the top level definitely take advantage of so here comes the cluster missile. It looks like he's gonna pop those off. And got a few hits. Gotcha. Okay, well I got my big my big two agility. Oh that was that was nothing. <laughs> so it looks like I'm taking two shields off the opening volley and first attack there. Or you know, three, whichever. And my man Kraken, every time I say Kraken, I want to drink, but uh, my man Kraken over here is going to throw that free action to Tycho. So, of course, he's going to boost to get into range to do probably something bad with some rockets. So the second volley came through with the cluster missiles. One crit, but I dodged it with my big two agility right there. And with that volley of, of fire from the second cluster missile, which allows you to perform an attack twice, Tycho here is going to get a target lock on the scout. Ooh, there's three, two. Two so far. Mm, uh, you want to use that focus? I'm going to go ahead and use that target. Target lock? I'm going to target lock it. And focus. And focus. You got four right there. And I got my big two agility. Man, coming through in a clutch with me <laughs> for me right there, agility. Um, so you get rid of that. So it looks like I got one, two, three, three and a crate coming through. So he came through with some clutch rolling right there on the, on the proton torpedoes. Like I said, this guy was overextended. I knew he was going to be in range with some shenanigans going on, but I just wanted to see if I could take all the fire. Sometimes when you play games, you just want to see how much damage you can take. So the return fire from the scout, we're going to pop the focus to target lock, cracking over here, and try to take down his shenanigans quite a bit. So we're going to do our plasma torpedoes, I feel like that's a good call there. And then we're going to get, uh, well, we got four dice with that, and we can't spend the target lock because we just got it. So, hmm, I know I'm going to get a free... I know I'm going to get a free hit out of these chips here, so I'm wondering if I should just, yeah, we'll just go ahead and reroll it, and then we'll get a free hit with the chips there. So we got four coming through on cracking. Three defense pass for the obstacle. Yep. Kill. Oh my. She's got one shot it. No more shenanigans for you. In the turn three, you got an interesting situation here. Tycho boosted up five. Well, not boosted, but moved up five because that's what A Wings do. Dropped his stress cloud at the beginning of his stress cloud with all the defense. And back here, Poe barrel rolled but then collided with the scout. So it looks like the Y is going to take the Brona to fire. But I think we're outside of range one right here on Tycho, so that's going to be an interesting one. No uh, cracking to save him this time. Man, so many options here. So I lost three shields on my Y. Not a big deal. That's what Ys do. Got four. Got four ass here. Coming on strong. But now we're going to take a look and see if we're at range one. Because that's going to be the determiner. And we are not. So that means we are going to use our outlaw tech to our advantage here. We're going to flip that. Uh, and get the free target lock. I think it's free. Does it make you say I acquire? Um, let's see, what does Dead Eye say? For Agromech, after you spend, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. I actually do not think that I can 
acquire the target lock because I am stressed and that is an action and that is something that we will look up later but I'm not going to do it because I don't think I can. So, but I can still fire the torpedo and so we got two right there plus one to from chips. So we got three coming at Tycho. Ooh. Mm. Oh my. Well, Tycho's got some options. What's he gonna do? Uh, focus and spin the egg. Okay, and so everything. you all the things? All the things. So you're losing what? A shield? A shield. Okay, we'll take it. And then next up is my man, the TLT back here. Definitely at range one. How often do you see a TLT actually shooting with his full attacks? Not very often. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Got to evade out of it. But he's gonna take a crit. No, you only took one shield. Yeah. A minute ago. I thought I already got a shield off you. I forgot wired the last time I rolled. I get a reroll of focus. And it doesn't matter. Two shields. Two shields. Bam. Or, ooh. Yeah, You're right, it is a crit. Oh, sh I didn't see the other crit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't have anything what is it? What is it? What is it? Major explosion. A mm. dice roll. Alright. Ah, up. And boom. <laughs> Lots of things going on in that cockpit. And it's directed. Oh, and it's a direct hit? I know, it's just flips. I flipped it because it's already exposed. I can figure out what it was. Oh, okay. I was like, that's not good. I don't think that's the thing. All right. So you still have one hull. No, it's done. No, it's done. Because you, you take a crit? Yeah. So I just one shot at your Tyco? <laughs> yeah, point black range. So this combat actually turned out a little differently. Instead of shooting at range one with three dice, I actually used a feedback array. So I lost a shield. Uh, I did a damage to him, so he lost a shield, and I took an ion token, which doesn't quite matter until I take two of them. But I figured with the focus token up, I was like, yeah, you know what, my average of getting, doing exactly the same thing, but at least it's guaranteed, so I'll take, I'll take the guarantee and my book there. Turn four, I think. Might be turn five, hard to say. I can't remember a time when I wasn't playing this game. But doing some crazy maneuvering here, Poe Talon rolled over there, so I still got me in my in his sights, unfortunately. But we got other shenanigans in store as well. And one hit. Poe. So. Oh, you don't get the Poe. No, you don't get Poe things because he is not focused. So fortunately for me, I have what do I got? I got one normally. I got one from obstacle and one at range three. Um. Well, how many did you do? One? one? I feel like I'm good. <laughs> so now my patience may have paid off because I waited for the chance when he didn't have any bonuses to him to be at range one to get my three dice, my two plus my normal. I have a target lock and a focus. So I think we're going to spend the... T now this is, where, this is where it gets really interesting because technically I could spend a focus and I get a target lock. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually, because he can't have two target locks. So I'm going to spend... Oh, wait. The target lock's on him. Well, dang. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do here. This is what I'm going to do just for you. I'm going to spend the focus, because I can spend the focus. It's going to give me a target lock. But I can't spend the target lock right now, unfortunately. So I'm going to have a target lock, and you're taking two damage. No! Oh, no shields. I am okay with this scenario. <laughs> Another interesting scenario, I am, I have weapons failure, so I'm only firing two dice. But fortunately, it's a secondary weapon, and he's only gonna get an extra dice for the rock. So I might be a little underpowered, but I got a focus and I got a target lock, so I'm hoping I at least get one through on each volley still. So first volley is just one. Oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna target lock it. Yep, so two. So one gets through, all right, so we target lock, and the second volley, just one. Whew. You got that a bit. Going into turn six, <laughs> uh, I think 
everybody's kind of puzzled by this maneuver right here. You probably wonder, well, what'd you do? How'd you end up right there? Well, I did a tight turn right here. Then I barrel rolled back to right here to still stay in position because I knew Poe was going to go forward. And I tried to sneak my Y up to collide with him, but he uh, he didn't he didn't bite on that regard. But he did realize that he needed to be out of range of of the uh, jump master back here, right? But unfortunately, when he boosted, he boosted just out of arc. So it's one of those things that you got to be cognizant of what's going on on the tabletop. But also sometimes you have to be cognizant of what's in front of you too and you know that was I probably would have done the same if you tell the truth so it's just one of those things it's a judgment call and uh, depending on how hot the Y rolls uh, you know it might not be a thing so here's the crazy scum Y wing that's been the menace of the rebels today we've got three shots at range one. Oh, big one and that's good enough to get through for a whole point Dink. Wink, wink. and then we've got the scout at range three. Yep, looks like it's good. We're gonna do no rock, right? Uh, no rock, yeah. So we're just gonna do our two shots, 360, and we're gonna target lock. And he's still got a chance. So what you're telling me is he still got a chance. He got two evades right there, so he's in the game with one whole point. So Steven's trying to run away from me, sort of, but I've got him, uh, this is actually probably some pretty optimum shooting for, for the scum the scum side with no torps, I feel like, so uh, that looks to be at range, but we don't shoot him, actually we do shoot him for it, so we're at range three, we're going to have our two dice, we get one hit, and I'm actually going to spend the focus to get a target lock for next turn with that eye. Three dice? Yep, just gotta dodge one. Oh. It is good to go. Uh, back here, it looks like I'm still gonna have attacks, but unfortunately I'm a little hamstrung, and I've only got two dice on my TLT. So first volley, we'll spend the focus and make it two. That's gonna kill me. Maybe. <gasps> or you were gonna roll two of eights. And second volley, only one. It's all down to this dice roll. There it is, still alive, still kicking. I tried, to, I tried to get him with the maneuvers right here. I did a, I did a two, and then I barrel rolled right up into his grill, hoping he was going to do a talent roll back on me, and I'd be at range one. But he, uh, he maneuvered away and boosted out. Push the limit. Focus, because I could do that. But it looks like we're only going to get one set of shots on you this turn. So not too exciting. Though round of fire here but we are going to get you at range three with no obstacle because strangely enough it actually clears over on that side so here's the two and uh i feel like i need to target lock this nope oh well just one but it's a really really good one and you get uh pushed away okay man i tried my best i basically Mario Kart barrel or power slider around that asteroid to try to get within one, but I'm pretty sure I can't bug zap for you. Nope, just out. Ugh, so close. So it looks like we're only gonna have shots right here. My fantastic two shots again. Uh, well, I got one hit. Let's see if it gets through. Whew. Doubly did not get through. I can't remember a time when I wasn't trying to kill the T-70. So all my Mario Karting skills have seemed to have paid off here at the end. It looks like after a barrel roll, actually I, did, I didn't even get to do the barrel roll because I would have asteroided myself. So I just focused up, but unfortunately his barrel roll had to go the other way and then he boosted forward three with his maneuver to try to catch the fleeing Y. But it looks like he may have clipped himself with the bug zapper. So I'll do a damn, I'll do a one shield myself to do one to you with the feedback array for your last whole point. And that's the game. I would shake your hand if I could. Yeah, there we go. Left hand shake. <laughs> Good game, buddy. Good game. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post game wrap up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today. 
can try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos. 